Hey, what is up guys? This is Brett here from brettdev.com. And in today's video, I wanna talk about what might possibly be the easiest way for anybody to move to Thailand. So guys, sorry I haven't made a video for a while. I've just been extremely busy. Um, when I get busy and I stop making videos, I then tend to put off making videos. Um, but I've had an urge to make one tonight, so the sun is just going down. And apologies if you can hear that bird. It's like a, he's driving me mad, wakes me up like every morning. But yeah, I'll try and talk over it. Hopefully you won't be able to hear it. And he usually does this for a couple of minutes and then he'll stop. There you go, just stopped. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? So I've had an urge to, to sit down and make a video tonight um, because I've been thinking about some of the questions that I've been getting and how much everybody overcomplicates things. All right. So like I said, the topic of this video is possibly the most simple way that you could move to Thailand. And this is from my perspective and from my experience. All right. So I thought I'd break it down for you into three simple steps because it'd be easy to follow and we can kind of get a big picture of what you might need to do if that's what you're planning on doing. So when a lot of people want to come to Thailand, the first thing they start getting interested in, they're thinking about is how much is it going to cost me to live there? How much do I need to save up and all this stuff? Um, then it's like, how do I work online? How do I make an income? All that, all that. So number one, how much do you actually realistically need to live in Thailand? You can live here quite easily on a thousand dollars a month. Okay, um, that is a really, really good figure for somebody who's just getting here, especially if you came here right now and you did the um, the ASQ hotels and things like that, because you wouldn't be going out much, you wouldn't be partying much because the nightlife isn't that great. And if you want to party or anyway, then for any time pre or post pandemic or whatever. So a thousand bucks um, is so easy for anybody to live off. And there are going to be people I know that are going to write in the comments and say, oh, a thousand bucks, you live like a peasant. And then there are also going to be people in the comments that go, a thousand bucks, you blow all your money. All right. Now, I've lived here for six, seven years, and I can tell you as an absolute fact, okay, if you're a single dude and you are normal, like most people, then a thousand dollars is going to get you a night. You can get a house like this. Um, you can get your food, you can eat out every single day of the week, you can rent a motorbike, you can pay for 200 megabyte, one gigabyte internet, you can go to coffee shops all day long, you can go out to hang out with friends, you can go out for beers once a week, you can do that on a thousand bucks, all right? You might not have any left after that, but a thousand bucks will cover you to do all those things. Now, when people say they live off way more than that, I personally don't really know I mean, I spend more than that because I don't spend only for me, okay? I'm like with my missus and I pay for her and all that sort of stuff. But if you're a single dude, I don't actually know what you're spending more than a thousand bucks on. Like unless you are drinking every night of the week, which you sh shouldn't be doing anyway. Um, unless you have to stay in a 30,000 baht a month gold-plated condo. I don't know. I don't know where people spend more than a thousand dollars personally especially if you're in Chiang Mai okay maybe if you're down in Phuket you might be going up to like 1500 2000 but up in Chiang Mai thousand bucks so you only need 1000 bucks a month okay that's it and for anyone we're talking about like a single individual here if you come in as a couple then I guess double it if you're coming with kids triple it whatever but um one thousand dollars a month should do you fine now let's say you want to work online to make that thousand dollars to earn a thousand bucks online, if you're freelancing like I do, um, you need one client. One client. Okay, that's the equivalent of, you know, having a job. One client is like one employer. It's not that difficult. It's easy to get a client to pay you a thousand bucks. Okay, that's all you need. One. So, what fascinates me is when people are working in a job like in England or in a, in a Western country and they're scared to move to Thailand. Oh my God, I'm employed now. And we have this mentality where it's like we're stuck in this employment and I don't know 
<laughs> your employer can turn around and fire you tomorrow. If you've got two clients, you've got half the chance of getting fucked, right? If you live in Thailand, you've got two, cli two clients, it costs you a grand to live, and they both pay you a grand each, and one of them stops working with you, you're fine. If you're in England, and your employer is paying you £3,000 a month, but you spend £3,000 a month on your rent, and then you get fired, you're fucked, right? So I don't understand where this, where this level of fear comes in, you know? Um, and a lot of people are going to say, talk about, I'm, I'm not talking about saving money or putting in money for your pension and all this stuff that people mention in the comments. I'm talking about day one, all right? You have to start somewhere. If you're young, if you're like, I don't know, 30, 40, 40 and under, and you're like, man, I really hate living in England. I want to work online and I want to go and live in Thailand. Then this is what I'm, this is where you, this is where you start, all right? So it costs you a thousand bucks a month to live here. You need one client if you were working online as a freelancer, or if you were, I don't know, um, outsourcing work online, maybe you wanna start like a online agency style business. I know many, many people that have online web agencies that don't know anything about the web, that have online SEO agencies that don't know anything about SEO. They just act like middlemen, yeah? They just have a friend or they go online and they find somebody on the internet, like on Upwork who can do SEO, and then they find a client and they say, hey, I'll work for you for fifteen hundred dollars a month. They get that client, and then they'll keep seven fifty and give seven fifty to the guy to do it. Do that twice, you've got your fifteen hundred dollars. Now you're living out here, right? Really, really simple. Um, so yeah, rambling a bit, but you need a grand. You need one client, okay? Now that you could you could be doing what you already do at your current job, just for somebody on the internet. All right. If you are if you are in England and you're going to work every day, you obviously have a skill. Yeah, you're being paid to do something, and most of those things, especially now, especially during this time, you can do online. Your current employer might not allow you to do it online, but there'll be a ton of other people around the world. You've got the whole planet to pick from that will let you do it online. All right. Um, so let's say. Whatever, I mean, you may not be able to drive a truck online, okay? There may be some careers that are off limits, but most aren't, okay? So let's say you, you come out to Thailand, you're trying to, you need a thousand bucks. I mean, get more obviously if you can, but you need a thousand bucks and you're fine. Um, you need one client to get a thousand bucks. You come out here, and if I wanted to get one client to pay me a thousand bucks, I would simply reach out to a hundred businesses. This is basic basic like maths it's really simple if you want to get clients online my whole strategy is just like mass bombard people in your industry Prefer preferably automate it because you can do that um but yeah i mean if, if you for example cut hair and you walked around the country that you live in and went into a hundred hairdressers i said hey can i cut hair for you for a day and if i'm any good will you hire me you're probably going to get somebody to hire you. You probably get a couple, three, four, five offers. Okay, then let's multiply that times ten. If you went into a thousand hairdressers and said, "Can I cut hair for you?" Do you think you'd walk out with an opportunity or not? Obviously, you would. It's no different online. It's exactly the same, right? So it's like you just need to have a goal of earning a basic amount of money. You could even do this before you get to Thailand, right? But it's so, the point I'm making is, and the reason I wanted to make this video is because it's so simple. And that's what the title of this video is. This might be the easiest way for you to live in Thailand. We, we, people overcomplicate it so, so much. And I think a lot of the reason is it's um, subconscious mental blockages that come from being employed for so long. All right. Um, you know, never really working for yourself, going from job to job to job to job. And happening, what a lot of people do is they just fall through life, right? So some, a lot of people have a job and they won't go into another job until they kind of pull that of their old one, right? They'll get recruited into the next one and then into the next one. And at no point in their life do they ever actually have to say, Joe, you know I'm going to go into those hundred hairdressers and see if somebody will hire me. Because if they had done that, they'd see how easy it is and that people would hire them, right? Sorry, I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes. So yeah, that's it, guys. I'm going to wrap this up in a bit. Uh, <laughs> you know, you need a thousand bucks a month. Jesus, you need a thousand bucks a month 
you need one client. Once you've got that one client, then you move on to your second client. Then you get your third client. Then you start outsourcing that those clients and then you bring on another client. Now you're making more than a thousand bucks a month. Now you're making two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand. Now you can start putting money into like your savings and all that. But if you just want to get out of your home country and you just want to come here, like don't you don't have to build up an income of 10, 20 grand a month before you move to bloody Thailand. It doesn't cost anything to live here. It's a grand. You know, just come here, earn a grand, even if you did that if, if you work for one client for six months and then the next month you got the next one and then the next one within two years you'd have four grand a month if you got four clients paying your point paying your grand but you don't have to have it all at once you have to start somewhere you know and you will find that if you do want to come to thailand particularly if you want to come here because you're unhappy which is um sorry i'm gonna get some mosquito spray one sec jesus sorry they just came out of nowhere i'm getting eaten alive what was i saying yeah Particularly if you're, um, if you come into Thailand because you are unhappy, you know, a lot of people want to move out here because they're miserable, because their jobs suck. Um, you know, you're going to, um, you are going to surprise yourself with what you're capable of once you change your environment and you're actually in a, in a happy place. You know, a lot of it as well comes down to, um, you know, when you're miserable, it's really hard to do anything, isn't it? Um, so when you change your environment, I mean, sometimes there's certain things in life that if you just, like I say, if you if you wanted to start working online and you wanted to see if you could get a, a company or a client or somebody to hire you online, as soon as you've got that first one, a lot of people will be like, right, that's it, I'm going, I've got a client, I'm going, book the flight, wash her off. And then they're flying. It's just that mental block to overcome that initial first thing that... Um, often prevents people from doing it but it's the point is guys it's a lot easier than you think all right and that's just a basic example you know a grand a month um that is literally what it costs you to live here um when you get here don't go mental have a little bit of savings in the bank three four five grand obviously minus your airplane and your hotel if you're coming at this time yeah grand a month get one client it's going to pay you that and then work on it from there and then get two and then get three. Um, and if you can't do all the work, outsource it to somebody else to do it. And it's not rocket science. That's it really. Um, yeah, if you like this video guys, and if you want to learn more about how I run my online business from here and do basically what I just described to you, very simple. Um, I've got a free course now that's in the description. So you can click down there and you can actually get full access to it. It's completely free. It's like seven, it's about two hours um, video course. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope it gave you some insight. It's not complicated. It's not hard. People will make it complicated. I know I'm going to get comments. Don't read the comments, guys. Like there are many twats in the comments that will write stupid, stupid, dumb shit that will say like, oh, no, you... That's that's irresponsible. Oh, you! What's going to happen if you should happen to fucking get struck by three motorbikes at once and need fifteen million baht in the bank? Oh my God, your life is over. How stupid! You why didn't you have fifteen million baht in the bank before you went to Thailand? So people are crazy. Right, I'm not telling you come out here with nothing, but don't overthink it. Right, get your medical insurance. You know, get your flight, get your hotel. You need to be earning a grand a month. You're not going to be able to save anything. You might be able to travel a little bit like once every few months inside of Thailand locally. You're not going to be able to go on holidays, obviously. Um, keep some money in your bank in case you need to go home. You know, you're not going to the moon. You're not living on Mars. People make out like you're moving to Mars and you need like fucking, I don't know, metric tons of jet fuel to get back to where you live. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's it guys i'm rambling um i hope you did like the video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and um until next time i'll speak to you soon cheers peace